Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy. <laughs> You... you didn't! So our story continues with the truly stunning scene of the father of all angels now grimacing in pain and anger as his divine white angel wing is ripped clean off from his left side. As he just stares, as his never before seen in such volumes blood blasts out in response and onto the ground. Lucifer! And almost in slow motion, as the blood of his wing sprays across in front of his line of sight with a furious but also damage ridden look, he would look to his elder brother and let out. How? How do you keep returning? What? Is it you want, you demon? <laughs> to which the devil himself, Lucif, would just let out a horrific laughter in response to, as blood from Die 2 moves slowly across his face, and with his grin wide, he would reply, You know all too well what I want, little brother. As for how I am back, you should learn to listen to your elders better! I told you already, the God Killer would seek my power again, eventually die! <laughs> now, to finish... <gasps> But just as Lucif's confidence in the situation would grow wildly, it would soon be kept on a leash as the demonic entity notices something is amiss. <laughs> Hold it right there, you freak! As Vegito, grabbing onto his skull in pain as if suffering from a headache, would open his new demon eye and looked to Lucif announcing, I don't seek anything of you. All you are is my tool. And guess what? You've served your purpose now. What? <laughs> As instantly to the shock of Lucif, and indeed everyone else around, Vegito, would then open his eye wide with a scream of anguish as his teeth would clench together and Lucif would immediately be disfigured to nothing more than a swirl of energy as he is taken back into Vegito and through the demon eye he possesses while the elder brother of Dai would just yell You fool! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm taking back control. As finally then closing his eyes, as the final bit of Lucif seeps back in like a Mafuba, Vegito would have successfully entrapped Lucif once more. As he grips tighter onto his forehead, as the pain presumably intensifies. <coughs> and with the pressure of Lucif gone, 
and perhaps now truly feeling the effect of losing his wings so violently, Die would then himself fall to his knees, confused at what had just happened. As he questions, What? What did I just see? Lucif, he was there! Now his presence is completely gone! This mortal, did he somehow seal him away by himself? <laughs> but as Dai would theorize how Lucid would be gone, the gruesome noises and grunts coming from Vegito would suggest otherwise. As with his teeth becoming sharper and more bearish with time, blood would begin to seep from his mouth. And soon, Black Lightning 2 would begin to spontaneously appear around his body while his head darts down and one of his bangs on the right side appeared to begin to grow longer than the other. Soon enough, his whole body would then begin to tense as he grumbles even more and they begin to intensify. First with his backside pulsating, then his chest beginning to pop veins before... <laughs> Flexing his arms out in front, the black lightning bolts would get larger and more defined, until... <laughs> the god killer's hair would begin to rise of its own volition as if being blasted by a torrent of wind from below as his power level returns to its previous point all at once and even goes further beyond. <laughs> and as the roars continue to rise, the earlier mentioned bang would now shoot out in length as the right side of his hair would also turn from black to a dark red, increasingly getting wilder too in styling, but all on just the one side. <laughs> but what would come next would be far more shocking, as slowly but surely, as if a scalpel was cutting across his flesh, a mysterious slit would appear on Vegito's forehead. But the changes would go even further, as now on the God Killer's right arm, a curious black flame would begin to envelop his arm in all directions, circling and increasing in magnitude as time goes on. <laughs> Until finally, the true combination of all these changes is seen in what appears like an all new form for the God King. As pure raging energy and destruction overflows from his body as he powers up, with his right side now showing a number of changes. From the longer crimson red hair, the demonic red and black eye, and now, with the black flame solidifying into an oversized, bulky arm, almost as if ripped straight off from Lucif himself. And not just that, but in the middle of Vegito's forehead would now be the third eye open, just like the demon too. All the while, his left eye would mysteriously remain closed. <gasps> what now? What has he done to himself? With the truly strange and one-sided transformation immediately then eliciting a reaction of pure disbelief and confusion from the Daishinka. With the priest continuing, This presence? No! Why does it feel like Lucif again? That arm too! Do not tell me 
This mortal is somehow taking over brother's body instead! New form! Wow! I love it! But on the other end of the spectrum, Zeno would be losing his mind in happiness it seems, as with tears literally overflowing from his eyes, creating waterfalls, the ecstatic Omni King would scream. So this is your new form, it's so cool, it looks like only one side has changed though, is there more to show me? <laughs> But the God King, in this all-new Lucif-infused state, would still be grunting like a beast. Perhaps from the pain of withholding Lucif within, or just from his pure hatred for the gods, as he would reply, You damn spoiled child! This is always going to be a joke to you, but you just wait and see. At least... You've got an eye for detail. This is not my complete form. I have a little further to go still. Further to go still? You mean more of my energy to steal? As suddenly from inside Vegito's mind, Lucid, who would now appear to be chained up once more, would be furious at Vegito for unleashing him, only to take him back in moments later. As with the veins bulging all over his body, he would scold. Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Are you trying to die? Do you not care about revenge anymore? What these gods did to you? Quit fooling around. Taking half of my energy, just get the job done! Without me, you are nothing, mortal! Nothing! <laughs> Shut it! But the God Killer, not being one to be spoken down to, even by the devil himself, would indignantly respond, Nothing without you? Who exactly is trapped in chains right now, you clown? You're the one who chose my body. You're the one who chose to keep your power within me. Now shut up when I choose to use it as I want. I don't need all of your power. Half is enough. The other half I'll get from someone else. What? Someone else! This comment, of course, leaving all of us, including Lucif, heartily perplexed, as we wonder what Vegito could even mean, with Lucif inquiring, You must have lost your damn mind! I am the great power that has saved you countless times! Who else is there, you petulant Saiyan? <laughs> but the answer would seemingly be coming sooner than expected, as from behind him, a mysterious yet familiar voice would begin laughing in a very Vegito-esque manner, almost God-killer line. <laughs> so you're the great Lucif, huh? What? Who are you? As shockingly, the figure behind would be revealed to be a smirking Gogeta with his eyes closed, walking confidently forward ahead of Lucid. As he would then eventually say, his eyes still not open, replying, Who am I? I guess you could think of me as Vegito's better looking brother. We're pretty similar, except for one difference. One power that he'll need to even out all that dirty, evil energy you're pouring into him. <laughs> Used 
the Seraphim wisely, Vegito! And suddenly, Gogeta would open his eyes to reveal dual Seraphim now activated, having gone a step further than the one eye he had previously. And with him being right in Vegito's consciousness now, the intended result is clear. <laughs> now I'm ready for you, die! As with his final card now shown, Vegito would enter what is presumably his completed state now. With his Seraphim Eye now activated on his left, the third eye now split down the middle to both Demon and Angel while the demon eye remains on his right side. All with the black devil's arm now flexing in the air as an all-encompassing aura of red and blue surrounds his body in all directions. Ultra Vegito has now finally become a true Nephilim. <laughs> And when we zoom in on his face, the changes are far more clear and visible. As with his most intimidating look thus far in the series, he would call out, What's wrong, Angel? You seem different now. Your scary older brother is gone. So how about you try and put that foot back on my head again? Let's see. If you don't walk away a cripple this time. <laughs> what? What are you? As Dai now reacting to all the changes in Vegito, including his own Seraphim technique, would then finally let out this Saiyan. He has taken control of Lucy's power on one side and utilizing the Divine Seraphim on the other? How do all these mortals know my teachings? This... This would mean he's a... Wow! But before the priest could put the pieces together of realizing Vegito had become half demon, half angel, aka a Nephilim, Zeno would be intrigued once more, yelling, So this is your final form then? It's not that different to before, but I like the blue and red. Can you make green like I said though? <laughs> but Vegito, who can barely stomach any more conversation with the Omni King, would then reply, How ungrateful, Zeno! But don't worry, this is still not all that I can pull out. I'm just trying my best not to have to resort to it. But I will show you, under one condition. As behind the God Killer, the source of that extra transformation would be clear. As Lucif remains in the bylines as Vegito's endgame, if all wrong. Huh? Condition? But for one of the first times in his long life, not getting what he asked for, Zeno would be confused. Teetering on the verge of perhaps switching moods, he would inquire, What do you mean? What do you want? I don't like rules, you know. But perhaps in a disrespectful move, Vegito in his new form would display he could care less, as he immediately powers up a black ball of pure demonic energy within the palm of his hand yelling back, I'll tell you once, I'm done slaughtering your angel! <laughs> his oversized arm in tow, almost amplifying the attack, a plane shaking blast would be let out aimed straight at the Grand Priest, 
who still would be taking in the shock of seeing a Nephilim in the flesh. <laughs> These mortals! But as the gigantic blast would ravage the ground below, Dai would eventually react. <sighs> Activating his seraphim eyes with both beginning to glow. And with perfect timing and speed, Dai would then jump shooting straight up as the blast would approach and then eventually clear it, rising above with his one wing as the powerful blast rips past underneath like a speeding train. And as he would fly high into the sky, he would briefly look down and think, that blast was no ordinary attack. That was Lucif's energy for better or worse. We don't understand how, but Vegito has somehow mentally overpowered even my elder brother. But he will not overpower me. <laughs> but just as Dai would make that conviction, he would soon be stopped in his tracks as a shocking sight would come into view of his seraphim eyes. <laughs> now where do you think you're going, punk? And shockingly, in an instant, Vegito would appear in front of Dai's face, leaving the angel to mutter, his, his speed, he can catch up to me now! The smirking god killer would just reply goadingly, Of course I'd be as fast as you die. We're both seraphim users, aren't we? <gasps> In fact, I think mine are a little better. As suddenly opening all eyes wide, a strange air pressure would be created from his killer intent alone that forces out the ball. <laughs> Why you? And this pressure would not be for nothing, as suddenly even Dai is pushed straight back down using the Nephilim's eyes. As he closes his own and grimaces, trying to fly back up. <laughs> what is this? But ultimately, the strength of Vegito's will is too much, and Dai would actually then fall back into the path of the energy beam from before, which continues the blast non-stop like a never-ending roller coaster. <laughs> and in the end, when the priest would inevitably crash backside first onto the blast, the damage would be intense. As if being shot on an electrified fence, Dai would practically be completely fried as the demonic beam would burn across the flesh of his spine. <laughs> what is this? This impure energy! It's his! As on impact, his truly pain-stricken and ridden countenance would confirm all his fears, as the power now being exerted was one in the same with Lucifer's. as the burn of the energy soon elicits nostalgia from Dai. <laughs> While meanwhile, floating in the sky with a smirk and his hand on his hip, the God Killer would just comment condescendingly, Look at you, frying in the light. You're like a one-winged mosquito right now. I'm not quite sure why you keep fixating on this power being Lucis. He is part of me, and so this power is mine now. What's surprising is, just how easily you're being outclassed with only half of his energy. Just how much stronger is your brother than you, Dai? 
to silence. But as the priest would begin pulling his arms and legs off the beam, like a rat caught on a glue trap, his fury at Vegito's words would begin to show itself until... Angelic Reverse! Unleashing his divine technique once more from the last chapter, as he thrusts his arm forward with his palm fiercely aimed at the god killer. And in response, just like before, the beam, which would now be miles off in the distance, would begin lifting off the ground, before completely taking a U-turn and changing trajectory straight towards its initial origin. And with the power and speed of the beam, it would be in a literal nanosecond that it would be straight within the God Killer's vicinity. <laughs> My oh my, I forget how strong I am sometimes. But the face of Vegito would show no fear nor worry, just a blatant teeth-bearing smile before... <laughs> the God Killer would pull back his demonic arm, the same one that gave birth to the very beam rushing towards him. And with one swipe that hardly looks like it exerted any effort at all, Vegito's new form would smack away the beam that just caused Dai so many problems. Like it was a mere fly, as the God Killer would comment cockily. And yet again, I guess I really don't know how strong I am. <laughs> But as the beam would dissipate from Vegito's sight in front, from behind, another danger would emerge. As Dai, with his body readied offensively, would yell back, Overestimate your strength all you want, but your overconfidence will always be your downfall! <laughs> And following through, the Grand Priest would then sucker kick Vegito from behind, sending the God Killer careering away. <laughs> but not for long, before Vegito would almost immediately then regain himself in the air. Before, with a smirk complimenting Dai. Ooh, look at that! Seems you still have something in the tank, after all. Good, because I haven't even begun to test how much energy I have overflowing through my body. <laughs> and Dai, who would be increasingly frustrated by Lucif's takeover, would reply, How are you stole? from the greatest evil himself. Have you no shame? Your pride is what stops you from allowing him to escape fully. Just know, if you do allow him to take over, you would have unleashed a far greater threat to all of creation than whatever you believe us gods to have. If you wish to gloat over me, Defeat me with your own strength! Stop with your mind games, you coward! I know you're afraid, but this is all I'll need for you anyway! Don't misunderstand, mortal! Whatever you do, on my name as the Dai Shinken, I will make sure Lucif is back where he belongs! As the two powerhouses, now apparently back on equal levels, would then fire straight at each other, with vigor surrounded by balls of pure energy until... <laughs> with a truly seismic clash, the thin human-like arm of the angel would collide directly 
with the humongous, in comparison, demon arm, both circled by their own distinct opposite energy, ultimately creating an explosion of incomparable dimensions as a result instantly creating a gigantic mushroom cloud of thick, dark smoke, rising into the air as giant black thunder and lightning would spontaneously form all around in addition. And in the surroundings, shockwaves of pure energy and wind pressure would be seen all over the battlefield too, destroying what little is left of Zeno. Alice. Ah! Vegito! Uh, what now? And the effects of their battle would go even further to eventually cause the other powerhouses on the battlefield to stop in their tracks as both Goku, GT, Vegeta and Destroyer Goku would all pause mid-flight as wind and debris smashes all across their bodies and faces. Ah, Vegeta! But with panic, Goku would look to his fellow Saiyan and call out, Whoa! Look at him now! Vegito changed again! What kind of form is that? Ah. To which Vegeta, with a far more serious face, would stare at the God Killer respond I don't know but that's not just a true demon form anymore I think that might be Lucif I just hope that clown knows what he's doing and in the aftermath Dai and the God Killer would be left with a massive crater standing on flat ground leveled beneath their immense strength, as dust and smoke continues to wade across. With Dai standing tall, unfazed, looking straight at Vegito and proclaiming, As I said, I only warn you of being lost to Lucif, as you claim to be the savior of mortals, but I can assure you my elder brother is not known as the one true devil for no reason. And there are countless mortals still alive that will all be lost if he ever returns. Consider it friendly advice, but I have no qualms eliminating you, Lucif, or anyone else. You are all just demonic scum that will be lost under the power of the one true angel. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But Vegito, not taking any of this serious, would just tense his muscles further, readying to continue the battle as he quips. Can you stop mentioning your brother? For one second die! Keep your incestuous relationship to yourself and get a room! I know exactly what I'm doing and what risk I'm taking! I may be thousands of years younger than you, but I'm no child! And if you so fear what would happen if I truly let Lucif free, then either kill me quick, or just die before I have to! Yeah! Demon Slicer! As out of nowhere, unable to hear any more, Vegito would then launch from his devil arm a blood red energy attack that cuts through the air at untold speeds. <laughs> And only when at point blank range would Dai suddenly notice something peculiar, commenting, That's. that's Brother's move! <laughs> <laughs> A 
as inexplicably using his surfing abilities, Dai would then manage to simply phase straight through the attack at the last moment, leaving the energy cipher to cut through the air and into the far distance. <laughs> Those damn eyes again, huh? Fine! But this would hardly dissuade the God Killer, who still smirking would swiftly then blast forward regardless. <laughs> Raising his arm point blank above the priest and yelling while looking down, Show me that ability again! Something tells me it doesn't work close up! <laughs> As within the palm of his demon hand, a ball of pure destruction would be formed in the most concentrated of fashions. <laughs> you may have my eyes, but you know nothing of my abilities! As Dai, while glowing his seraphim eyes, would then place the tips of his hands together once more before... Divine Smite! What? As instantly, within the palm of Vegito's arm, Dai would no longer need to dodge or face through at all, as the God Killer's energy ball itself is completely eviscerated, damaging his palm partially in the process. <laughs> and though Vegito would give away a now signature giggle, when he and all of us look down at his arm, we would see that it has become deformed into a black sludge. As he would comment, Seems your smite works extra well when it comes in contact with a demon arm like this. I better watch out, eh? But as he would then lift up his arm, as if the goo was similar to a certain margins, it would begin to reform back to normal with ease, as the God Killer would then continue. But then again, with Boo inside me, what do I really have to fear? I'll regrow whatever you remove. <laughs> now come down with your useless techniques and show me what strength you have in that little body! This outburst and the God Killer's quick heal, all then triggering a teeth-bearing dart, who would reply, How such a vile creature has come to be on Zeno's and my watch! I shall repent by removing all trace of you! As on foot this time, the two would then run straight forward towards each other now, at full force, ready to seemingly use their fists this time instead of energy attacks. But in reality, once the two would meet, both their arms and hands would interlock, as they both reach an impasse slamming into one another, still on the spot as they each try to push the other back. <laughs> you petulant mortal! No matter what you do, you will fall here and now! <laughs> you vertically challenged god! How about you stop telling me what you're going to do and just do it! And with both with extreme notions of effort and endeavor written all over their faces, both would use their full power. <laughs> As immediately, Dai would deliver on Vegito's request, powering up suddenly mid-battle of wills as another Cyan Triangle would then engrave and begin to glow from his torso before... Behind the Grand Priest, a giant energy apparition, similar to the one Goku used against Moro, would fall. But Cyan in color and far more powerful would rise from his aura alone, 
looking down menacingly at the god killer. What? Shocking Vegito as he watches the seraphim giant tower over him. All while he's already preoccupied, struggling against the smaller die on the ground. <laughs> no! And as the full body of the giant die would then separate, it would soon bring about a mind of its own. Raising its gigantic and heavy foot off the ground and then getting ready to squish the god killer like a mere ant all before the eyes of the priest. <laughs> but seeing the tables turned would not go down well with Vegeta, who now annoyed would close his eyes and bite his lip grunting, You! You aren't making this easy for me, Angel! You don't want me to bring Lucif out, yet you're forcing me to do something I don't want to do! As suddenly, the eyes of the Demon Saiyan would now burst open and a strange change would begin to take place. And as his left shoulder would begin to inexplicably bulge and tense, the smiling Vegito would say, Man oh man, the three eyes, the tri-beam, I owe Tien a big hug once I revive him. Here comes another of his amazing techniques. As suddenly, in a horrific scene, from Vegito's backside, his skin would stretch out as if something would be escaping from his very body until... What? Unbelievably, from Vegito's shoulder, a second demon arm would burst out with gigantic claws ready to fight on the God Killer's behalf. Instantly then grabbing onto the giant die's falling foot, stopping in its tracks there and then. What is going on? Leaving Dai in sheer disbelief and terror as he comes to realize even more of Lucif's power is being extracted. And not only that, but being used to overpower him even further. Oh my god! Another ROM! But once more from Zeno, who had never seen such a strange ability, he would be in complete awe as his very pupils would begin to liquefy from the sheer joy. But soon enough, almost begging now like a fiend for his next fix, Zeno would demand more, asking, I can't bear this anymore! Show me your new form! How many more arms will it have? Can you grow another leg? I need to see! <laughs> Impatient are we? To which Vegito, having gained the upper hand now, would then just look to Zeno with a smile and reply, Fine! Who could look at that adorably little face and say no? Even if you are responsible for the deaths of countless mortals. I will show you, Zeno but I need that condition of mine done. And what I want is... Before with an increased grin, and almost salivating as he explains his request, he would finally say... I want you to summon the Dragon God, Zalama! Right here and now! Shocking die and surprising the Omni King, as Zeno would just mutter, Zalama? Why? 
But that was it for today's video, guys. And if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag Zalama in the comments down below. And let me know just why Vegito wants another god on the battlefield. Or just find out what happens right now on my Patreon, where you can see the full next video, fully voice acted, soundtracked, and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,000 700 plus other fans as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too it's the deal of the century